Hey, what's up, David? This is Devin from SEO Dallas, Texas. Thank you for speaking to me earlier today, and thank you so much for clicking on this video. I'm going to very briefly show you how to improve your online presence so you can start bringing in your own customers. You don't have to pay these very expensive outside companies. If you're wondering why I'm even making this video for you, it's super simple. There's a lot of small business owners out there that are spending all of their time running their business, taking care of their customers, doing what needs to get done to pay the bills. They don't really have the time to learn how to make the internet work for them and bring in more of those customers. And typically the only thing holding them back from hiring a marketing agency is they just don't know who is an expert and who is not. And so I found that by making these attack plans and just giving them away for free, <clears throat> there's still a lot of business owners who end up calling me back and having me do this stuff for them. So. If at the end of this all you see I've got some tricks up my sleeve and I can do some real good for your business, give me a call and we can chat. If you want to take this free information and apply it yourself, that's okay too. This is a completely free education. I'm going to briefly show you how to make your website more of an authority, how to make it more trustworthy, and then how to get ranked on your local map pack rankings. Let's first start by looking at your presence. So. <clears throat> Uh, I'm sure you'll notice right away I'm on your Facebook page. The reason being is I did not find your, your website live anywhere. I did some looking around and I found that your website is Lanier Plumbing ATX. I'm, I'm hoping I'm saying that correct. Lanier, Lanier I'm sorry, uh, Plumbing ATX.com. But that's not working right now. It says it's being parked by GoDaddy. So I don't know if you haven't paid the bill or what's going on, but it is down. But it says your website, <clears throat> this is a tool I use called Ahrefs. Your website's been around since at least May of 17. So I would definitely get that up. Because having your own website allows you to generate leads. Actually, the way that Angie's List and Yelp and Home Advisor and all that generate leads is exactly what I'm showing you in this video. They just sell it back to you at 10 times the price that you could be paying by doing it. It's crazy. So let me show you what your competitors are doing so I can show you how to outrank them. So <clears throat> the number one person you type in Plumber Austin is Clark Kent Plumbing. And you can see right away they have quite a bit of content on their page. That's very important because when somebody types in Plumber Austin, Google's goal is to put them in front of the article that's going to answer all their questions or the article that has the most content, the most words. Now the average <clears throat> website on the front page of Google right now has any or is about 1890 words. So you're going to want to have anywhere between 1500 to 2000 words on your front page. Looks like these guys probably have about 500 on there, so you're going to blow them out of the water easily by having 1500 to 2000 words. Also, let's take a quick peek at what their images are. Here, let me see what their images are saved as. Here, this one maybe? No. Nope. Wow. Like, oh, there we go. Here's one. <clears throat> so it's got a bunch of numbers. They should be saving this as like Plumber Austin. Okay. So that's tipper number one. That's how you get yourself ranked as uh, authority. Then you got to make yourself trustworthy. And Google looks at how trustworthy you are by, by seeing how many other websites are linking to you. Keep in mind, though, they want relevant links. So you're going to get a lot more power from other plumbing companies linking to you than if you would from like Pizza Hut linking to you because Google knows you're not a pizza company. So back to that tool I was t talking about, it's called Ahrefs. It costs about a thousand bucks a month, but it gives you some extremely valuable data on what's going on in the back end of website. So it might be a good investment for you if you want to check out what your competitors are doing. Uh, it says that you've been, like I said, since May of 17 is when you got your first link. You're currently sitting at five links, five websites linking to you, leading to no traffic. Nothing to scoff at. There's a ton of blump, uh, plumbers out there that don't have a website whatsoever or even a Facebook page whatsoever, let alone links going to it. So you're still miles ahead of them. I want to show you what you got to target though if you want to be number one in Austin. So Clark Kent Plumbing only has 88 websites linking to them. That's super, super easy to beat, especially with someone to something as competitive as Austin. You can easily add about 10 websites a week, a week, uh, a week and be uh, safe. And what I would recommend doing is if you go and you look here, go see what websites they have and go get them for yourself. So you see like Ream is going to be a good one. Obviously it has to do with water heaters. Clark Kent Plumbing, that's their own website. Um, plumber, plumbers, home improvement plumbers, stuff like that. Those are the kind of links you're going to want to get. And here's the big win. If you beat these guys in content and you beat them in domains, that's how you rank organically. If you rank organically, you take their traffic. These guys have 840 people a month looking at their website. And that's just organically. Imagine how much that would cost to pay Angie's List to get that much traffic. It costs a small fortune. These guys are doing it for free, right? So... Those are my, that's my second tip and those two alone will get you to rank organically. The last tip may be the most important. When somebody types in Plumber Austin and they're ready to buy, they call the first plumber that shows up that seems trustworthy. And you want to be that plumber because those are the easiest customers to close. People skip these ads all the time. It gives you from bad experiences, ad blockers, what have you. So where you want to rank yourself is the Google My Business or local map pack section. Getting here requires having more citations than your competitors, which is anywhere where your name, your address, and your phone number are listed in different directories across the web, such as like Yelp, Yext, Yellow Pages, White Pages, Facebook, Angie's List, Home Advisor. These are all the most common ones. The best strategy here is to figure out what directories your competitors are listed in. List yourself in those same directories, but then add a bunch more on top. So like if Clark Kent, as you see, the number one for organic and they're also number one for the map pack. If these guys are in like 150 different directories, you're going to want to put yourself in like 250, if not 300. 
So that's all I've got for you, David. I hope you found this really informative. As a really quick recap, once you get your website back up, you want to have 1,500 to 2,000 words on that front page. You're going to want to beat Clark Kent by getting about 100 websites linking to you or more. And then you're going to want to put your name, address, and phone number and more directories in your competitors. Just make sure it's spelled the exact same way across the internet so it's all linked to each other. David, if you want to take this free information and apply it yourself, please do. This is free education. There's no strings attached. I just ask you, please send me back some feedback and let me know if you thought this was valuable information. If you do want me to help you take care of the stuff and you don't want to worry about your marketing things, you just want to take care of your business and keep taking care of your customers, give us a call back. Our phone number is 214-441-6737. Also, if you look at the bottom of the email I sent you, it also has our phone number right there. Either way, I do look forward to hearing back from you, David. I really appreciate your time taking watching this video during your very busy day, and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Thanks, David. Bye.